Hey everyone, it's Angelica here. I am going to talk about something that I do every time I want to change a habit or change what I'm doing. I have to make sure that it's going to work and it's going to be easy for the transition from not doing to doing. Because I know that a lot of people that are hearing this group are here to understand how they can change their habits they can implement new ways of eating exercising um, new ways of feeling mentally emotionally and you know everything that we do is a habit right and even the mental and the emotional feelings are a habit and it's very easy to think that um you know, it's not, but even our thoughts are a habit, you know, um, there is some research that says that, you know, not a big percentage of our thoughts are the same than the ones yesterday, which is quite crazy to think. Um, and I think it's about 95% of our thoughts are the same. So we are only conscious about 5% of the time. So you wake up and you think the same and then that thinking makes you feel the same so if you are anxious you feel you think anxious thoughts and you feel anxious feelings and then you wake up and you know you do the physical things that uh, makes you feel better it could be drinking a coffee or it could be um you know drinking a tea or whatever it is or watching the tv or going on social media to see what's happening in the world so and that leads to a cascade of things that you're doing over and over again without much changing in thinking and feeling and in doing right and that's where most people have an issue with and they keep repeating the same patterns over and over again and the older you get the harder it is to break the pattern because you have been practicing that for way too long um, you know, and I speak that to myself. I had been practicing patterns for 38 years when I was diagnosed with stage three back cancer that were not beneficial to me. There were some of them that were pretty difficult and challenging to break. Um, but I want to say to you that if you want to break them, you are able to break them. Uh, a lot of people, you know, tell themselves their story that they can't, but they can okay and i'm a living proof of it and i helped my clients to do that and i really think that anybody that wants to open themselves to breaking a pattern it's possible so today i'm going to tell you very quickly one thing that i do every time that i want to change uh anything that i'm doing you know and i'm going to call it a habit um you know most pretty much all of the habits that i start practicing during chemotherapy i still practice them today six years later and this is why my health only gets better and better physically mentally and emotionally because uh, i still practice everything that i started doing uh six years ago and but that doesn't mean that i never change them you know i i improve them i do them in less time more effectively uh, sometimes I have to tweak them depending on my schedule, on what I'm doing, on how busy my life is, on my kids and husband, whatever it is, right? So um, a lot of people, uh, they uh, fail uh, to changing a habit because they don't uh, put a lot of time thinking how they're going to do it. So they wake up on Monday morning and they think like, you know, on Sunday night, they decide that they are going to eat healthily and exercise on Monday morning and they wake up and guess what? They think the same thoughts as their whole life, which is stay in bed for a little longer or um, don't do uh, anything because nothing you've ever done has ever worked. Um, you know, you are just not disciplined. So just stay in bed. And then, which makes them feel uh, that they um, are not worthy, that they are um, uh, not good enough, that they don't have any power to change. Uh, it makes them feel worthless and they keep the same cycle. They wake up and they get the, you know, the uh, biscuits from the cupboard and, you know, the coffee or the energy drink, whatever it is, and they scroll on social media. And another day, they have practiced the same thing over and over again. So they have expected that um, magically they were going to think different thoughts, they were going to feel different feelings, and they were going to take different action without planning um, anything different. 
and although some people they do plan uh, the you know the the food that they're gonna eat you know they have like a diet plan like you know this is all I'm gonna eat and I know you know everything is in the fridge and I know what I'm gonna eat what they fail to put into place is um, rehearsing that new habit it's thinking that what I'm going to do tomorrow is going to be different than today and in their head rehearsing this is what I'm going to do how I'm going to do it and this is in the order that I'm going to do it and when I face this obstacle this is what I'm going to do right um, and by doing that in your head you know our brain doesn't know the difference between what we're doing in real life and what we do um, you know just in our heads and this is why our thoughts have so much power over us is that by the time Monday morning comes in, you're just not doing it the first time. You know exactly what it, you need to do and you know exactly that your thoughts are going to come up. But you also know that you are going to override those thoughts anyway. And you're going to do that thing that you told yourself they were going to do despite your thoughts. And just by rehearsing that in your mind on the Sunday or the Saturday or the day before you decide to implement that change, it's much easier to actually take a different action on the day that you put, you set yourself to take that different action. So when people talk about you know visualizing goals and dreams and things like that, um, you know they're visualizing something that in the future, and they're trying to um, you can call it brainwash themselves to believe that they can do that thing, accomplish that thing. But I would argue that sometimes, you know, the visualization is um, if you're not taking action, uh, physical action, engaging your body in the process, it, it is a very small piece of the puzzle, right? So when you are rehearsing, it's different because you are not just, uh, you know, thinking about like everything is going to go smoothly, everything is going to be so easy. You are actually rehearsing in your head going, okay, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and, you know, I'm sure I'm going to feel really tired because that's how I feel every Monday and I'm going to feel really sad and mm -hmm. and um, depressed because I don't want to go to my job that I hate uh, or face that situation where it makes me feel really stressed or face my anxiety, my depression, whatever it is, right? So once you are rehearsing that in your head but what I'm gonna do despite of those feelings is I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna do a five minutes yoga and then after I do my yoga I'm gonna eat the breakfast that I bought you know in that in that I that I know it's gonna be good for me instead of you know eating a pack of biscuits so you're actually going through your mind and you were thinking and rehearsing not just realizing like every step of the way what you're gonna do how you're gonna feel and what you're gonna think right so it's a combination of things it's not just one thing not just visualizing everything is going to go smooth sailing because let's face it if you've got kids and a dog and a husband whatever things are not going to go smooth sailing you know things might come up but once you rehearse all that and you have everything in place it's much easier for you to accomplish that change okay so i have done that in every single habit that i changed um, I still do that if I want to change something I think to myself okay well um, you know let's say one of the things that I, I did this year is every time I go for a walk with my dog I just carry a backpack uh, with weights uh, it's called rocking so you know the backpack was ready and I'm it's right at the door and I know exactly what I need to do so if I'm gonna go for a walk this is what I need to do get the backpack put it on on me and just go for a walk and imagine myself walking with a backpack and coming home and it's going to be just fine. I don't have to worry about where the backpack is or how I'm going to, you know, put the weights on the backpack. I have already tested the backpack. I've already, okay, this is the enough weight for me. You know, I can put more or whatever. You know, I've done it all of that work. Okay. So, uh, rocking for me, it just, it became like every time I go for a walk, I just do that. You know, it's just a no brain. I don't have to even think about it. Okay. So it comes automatically. So when you are doing that, it's much, much easier for you to change a habit uh, from something that you have practiced that no longer serve you to change it to something that you do want to practice that it will serve you. 
and when you put all of those things in place you realize that we are just a set of habits and if you're not happy with where you're at with your health with your physical health mental health emotional health you are just practicing habits that are not serving you and you just need to change those habits into habits that serve you hopefully that helps you guys um if you have any questions uh let me know and i will see you on the next slide take care